Hello, my name is Dr. Diwan S. Raja. Today I will discuss about the pharmacology of the antithyroid drugs. The antithyroid drugs are used to treat hyperthyroidism. There is excessive function of the thyroid gland. And hyperthyroidism is often interchanged with a terminology called thyrotoxicosis. Thyroid gland secretes the thyroid hormone. When its hormone secretion is more, then we'll get hyperthyroidism. Hyperthyroidism is a hypermetabolic state caused by elevated levels of T3 and T4. T3 stands for triiodothyronine, T4 stands for thyroxine. What are the causes of hyperthyroidism? Hyperthyroidism is caused by Graves' disease, toxic thyroid nodule, excessive thyroid drug intake like excessive intake of thyroxine, thyroiditis, that is inflammation of the thyroid gland, multinodular goiter, thyroid stimulating hormone secreting pituitary adenoma, and stroma ovary ovarian teratoma with thyroid and some drug like amiodarone that is an antiarrhythmic drug but it may cause hyperthyroidism sometimes even it may cause hypothyroidism what are the treatment options for hyperthyroidism thyroidectomy that is surgical resection of thyroid gland radioactive iodine that will damage the function and structure of the thyroid follicular cells and antithyroid drugs. What are the antithyroid drugs? These are thiamides and Lugol solution. What is Lugol solution? Lugol solution contain iodine and potassium iodide. What are the thioamides? These are propyl thioracin and methimarjone. What is the mode of action of thioamide? They inhibit the synthesis of thyroid hormone by inhibiting oxidative process required for the iodination of tyrosine and by inhibiting coupling of iodothyronine to form T3 and T4. Propyl thioracin prevents the conversion of T4 to T3. We know that at the periphery, T4 is converted into T3 inside the cell and in the, and in the periphery. What are the actions of thioamides on thyroglobulin? Thioamides have no action on thyroglobulin. Therefore, observation of the clinical effects of Thioamides are delayed until thyroglobulin stores are depleted. So it takes several weeks to be depleted. Okay. Thioamides are not effective in thyroid storm. In thyroid storm, we need some medication which will work very quickly because thyroid storm is a life threatening condition. What is the mode of action of Lugol solution? Inhibit iodination of tyrosine and thyroid hormone release. Decreases size and vascularity of hyperplastic thyroid gland. Lugol solution action is transient. The thyroid gland escapes the iodide block after several weeks. What are the therapeutic uses of Lugol solution? Management of thyroid storm along with other drugs like that of the beta blocker and the and also the diltiagem to prepare for the patient for thyroidectomy another use for local solution what are the adverse effects of local solution rash drug fever metallic test and rarely anaphylactic reaction What are the drugs for thyroid storm? Intravenous beta blocker like propanolol or ismolol. Calcium channel blocker like diltiagem for patients with heart failure. 
Lugol solution. What is the pharmacokinetics of antithyroid drug thyromides? The, they are well absorbed, around 50 to 80 percent of them are absorbed from the gastrointestinal tract, particularly duodenum and jejunum, the upper part of the small intestine. Propyl thyroxine has a short half life, one to two hours. But its duration of action is prolonged, like nearly six to eight hours. But we need to give multiple doses of propyl thyroxine, maybe three doses. Carbimazole has eight hours of half life, but this all this this drug are accumulated in thyroid follicles. But their although their half life is eight hour, carbimazole has half life of eight hour, but its duration of ac action is twenty four hour. So this drug may, may be given once in a day. They have a slow onset of action, relax of thyrotoxic acids, may occur on sedation of therapy. Thyromides are excreted through the urine as glucuronide. What are the adverse effects of thyromide, propyl thyroxyl and methimazole? Skin rash, nausea, headache, leukopenia, agonocytosis, edema, and risk of congenital bar defect with methimazole. Okay. And pro propyl thyroxyl may also cause liver damage. And this drug, propyl thyroxyl, may not cause congenital bar defect, but there is possibility of congenital bar defect due to methimazole and that's all about the pharmacology of the antithyroid drug if you have any question please feel free to ask me please share the information with your friends please support my channel please subscribe me have a nice wonderful and blessed day bye now